going live. We're live. You're live. Hello, everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Trepang 2 on the GTX 1650, 1050 Ti, and RTX 3050. How are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks to Team17 for providing a code of the game. And, well, what to say about this game? I'm super excited, super pumped to play it. I played the demo. I loved it. I wanted to play more. And here we are. Finally, the game fully released. I've been watching this game since it was a tech demo. So <laughs> I feel old now. So options menu, another UE4 game. There is custom resolution, which I never saw this inside a game's options menu. Pretty cool. FOB from 90 to 130. We're going to keep it at 95, personal preference. Motion blur, a tiny bit. Camera shake, no thanks. V-Sync, no thanks. FPS limit, no thanks. There's also insane settings that I tried it on higher end computers. It was pretty crazy, so those are disabled. And I'm basically on high settings right now with epic anti-aliasing and epic textures. So here we are. And there's also t temporal AA upsampling, which is TAAU, is the um, Unreal Engine upsampling. So if you enable this and lower the resolution scale, it'll do the um, upsampling using the TAAU technique from UE4, which is good to have. And the sharpness is at, let's put it at 30%. Anyway, there we are. So 1650, 1080p high, epic textures, let's go. Also, is the audio fine, guys? Just to know. Easy, normal, hard, very hard, extreme rage mode. Enemies have eyes on the back of their heads. Instant reaction times. <laughs> okay, no, I'm good. Normal. And we're skipping all the cutscenes as always. Let's see. Okay, already 100 FPS. I think I went a little too low with the settings, actually. Skip cutscene, yes. Okay. Okay, over 60. We're good on high, I think. Let's see once we start shooting. We're under attack. Okay, first of all, I need a flashlight. <laughs> Everybody's dead! A dot appears in the center of the screen while you're in the shadows? Okay, gotcha. Well, before that, let me get behind the door super quick. There we go. Audio is good. Awesome. Thanks, Sakare. I appreciate that. Also, VRAM usage below 3 gigs is DX11. Okay, haven't seen me yet. Bye bye. Bye bye. I need guns. I've been looking forward to this game for so long. After the demo, I was like, okay, I need to play this right now. I'm staying still in the shadow. Those stones look pretty good. I just need a gun, you know. Bye bye. Team, search the area. Copy that. Search the area. The question is where to go. Oh god. Run. Oh, you can cloak. Like in crisis. I'm guessing the green light is the way to go. I forgot completely that you can cloak.
<laughs> Here we go. Wish me luck. Oh, they're all dead. Good. All units be advised. Security station is not Thank you. Finally, the game starts. Okay, I move very quickly, as you can see. I have a self. I have legs. I have a self shadow. Was one fire weapon. Okay. <laughs> A little bit too sensitive. Oh man, imagine playing this at 144. It should be totally doable. Slide. If you thought Call of Duty was fast, <laughs> think again. <laughs> To the lay, come on, that's Yeah, there's nothing here. Approach to move silently. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Está de más, me encanta, Edsley. Está tremendo. Super fast paced. Super violento. Me encanta. Game of the year. I can throw an enemy as a grenade. Oh, and I forget, I have a focus, like, in fear. So it's fast paced. You get invisibility like in Crisis, but you also have Focus. And Focus, what it does is basically Fear 1. You get super badass slow motion. And you can slide like this. You can throw people, yeah, you can grab them. Maybe that's not in the demo. I haven't seen that before. Can I can I slide up the stairs? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Hi, Aditya. Aditya, AR. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. I'll cloak for a bit. Yeah, you can grab them like this. And throw it like a grenade. <laughs> Man. Oh. Okay, a foot. A, a Chris Spector. Completely bloody. Awesome. I'm glad you're good, man. Slide. Ooh, shotgun. Hell yeah. No, I'm not replacing the shotgun. Here we go. Focus. Mm. Oh my god, the frame rate. <laughs> Yeah, mashed potatoes. 
mashed potatoes. Strawberry mashed potatoes. Sí, es, es básicamente fear, pero moderno, supongo. Yeah, guys, this is basically spiritual successor of fear. But without the scares, I guess. I'm going in! Oof. Okay. Don't worry. Got him. No, you don't toss the grenade. <laughs> I love how the enemy is like, yeah, we got him. And when I'm, he's on his own, all his friends are dead. He's like, what? <laughs> That's awesome. Fine, I'll do it myself, the video game. Exactly. This is awesome. Oh, I can still do this, okay. I can still separate the limbs. The shotgun is super satisfying so far. Killing enemies temporarily boosts stamina. Noted. Um, I doubt bro. Currently, I'm using an i5 10400F, 16 gigs of RAM, B560 motherboard, GT710. You're looking forward to upgrade to a 6700XT. Will be a bottleneck? No, you should be fine. It's good. Don't worry. Make sure that the RAM is on dual channel. That's super important. I would say that's one of the most important things. Oh, let's keep using the shotgun. Oh, hi there. I need that katana, you know. You're welcome. I love that when people don't have faces, that's clearly because they didn't want to animate faces. Thanks for the katana, brother. I cannot grab it. Okay, maybe later. Collect the syndicate coin ZV. You're not another 16? Okay, good one. Four shells, three people. No, I'm just using one shot. There we go. That did it. Damn. No, I prefer the Chris Vector. Thanks for the armor. Impressive for a fire extinguisher. Yeah, I agree. There was so much pressure in that fire extinguisher. Maybe that was a bomb disguised as a fire extinguisher. <laughs> okay. Subject 106, route to your position. You need to hold your ground. Hold my ground. He's not getting past us, yeah, good luck. Get the fucker in the elevator. Happily. Okay. They don't listen they don't hear my shotgun. What do you do if you if you if this if you hear this? Oh, you can probably shoot the grenade as well. Reduce two atoms. Anybody else? Ah, oh, they're in the elevator. <laughs> okay, more coming. Did you play Hogwarts? Yeah, I finished it. 
I hope this game wins game of the year. At least for me, I think this will be my game of the year. It depends on how fast this gets old. Well, that's not cool. You have played on hard, actually. The sound from behind the queue to soil your pants. Yeah, exactly. Don't turn back. <laughs> You're going to become mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, I finished Hogwarts Legacy. I started my second playthrough by using mods. The mod to fly anywhere without restrictions. Slide. Okay, the slide works for the shields. Gotcha. That's useful. So fourteen, this is Talon. We're on the way. We're on the way. Oh, I have grenades as well. Perfect. G. Can the 1650 handle it in Ultra? Probably, but it will drop below 60. Let me show you. I mean, it's just cranking this from high to epic. It's unnecessary, but you can do it. Uh, yep, everything on the maximum. There's also an insane setting, but the insane settings are ridiculously demanding and they look... They don't look that much better, honestly. But sure, I'll show you Epic. It'll drop more often below 60, but it'll stay over 60 pretty often still. Oh, Silence Pistol. Sure, why not? Let's pretend this is crisis. Uh, currently playing Cyberpunk 2077 with mods. That's why I love PC gaming. Yeah, I mean, when I finish a game, I start playing it with mods. It feels like a different game. Also, not pay to play online. I agree. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I don't know how the console people still pay to play online. That's ridiculous. Yeah, no. Stealth is optional. Holy hell. <laughs> don't be afraid. I'm here to help to free you from your mortal coil. See, it drops into the 40s when I'm very close to those effects. No big deal, but still. Paying for the internet sure isn't enough, yeah. <laughs> Paying for the console isn't enough either. The amount of money those people are making. Oh, okay, he's a shield guy. Bye bye! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, let me show you the best settings. The best settings so far are pretty easy. High post processing, high this, high this, textures on epic, effects on high, carnage on high. On epic is a little bit too much. The prop detail, uh, we keep it on epic. So high epic. I hope this game will also have mods. It's on Real Engine 4, so it's probably going to. Although, what would you mod inside of this game? John Wick? <laughs> I think that's the only appropriate one. Logistics. Okay, that's, this is the way. Oh, more shotgun ammo? Hell yeah. Yeah, this game... Okay, screen space reflections. I see. Okay, these two atoms. No, 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 no. You're not taking me. Still alive. <laughs> Thomas the tank engine, fight clans instead of soldiers, novelty weapons. Yeah, that's a good point. You're right. Oh. Customize your weapon. I didn't know that. Okay, this is definitely crisis inspired. Oh. What can I do with the shotgun? Unfolded stock. Okay, more realistic. Less recoil, but slightly slower reload times. That's fine. Okay, cool. P pick up weapon part. Laser. Ooh, laser. Fucking laser sights. Okay, laser and suppressor. Yeah, definitely crisis. Crisis 2. This is the first thing you do in crisis 2. You put a laser to your gun. And a silencer. Looks like black. Yeah, also. Oh man, I wish we had a sequel to that one. It's also inspired by fear. Yeah, definitely spiritual successor to fear. I agree on that one. Anybody else? Oh, behind me. My bad. Surprise on the fluffer. Okay. Got lots of ammo, that's good. But I love that the guy runs super fast, like nobody's business. What is this? This is Doom, <laughs> the interface drone. As user identify, accessing user memories. And this successful uploading. What is this? Termination upload complete. Okay. 1650 mobile, more powerful than a 2050 laptop. <laughs> Funnily enough, yes, I looked that up a few days ago. The RTX 2050 laptop is slower than the 1650 laptop, somehow. Press any key to continue. Okay, I'll see once. Okay, it's auto saving. Let's swap GPUs. Best settings, in my opinion, mix of epic and high, like this.
with TAA looks good. Drops below 60 when in slow motion and lots of blood in the face, particles in the air. Otherwise, completely fine. So let's swap to the 1050 Ti. Because if I don't stop now, I won't stop the game. I'm I'm liking it a lot. <laughs> it's too good. Hopefully it doesn't get old, that mechanic of slow motion. Does the game have save slots or autosave only? I'll find out in a moment. Good question. I'm guessing it's only autosaves, but we'll see. Next GPU, FSS Sings, to him. How's it going, bro? The 2050 is slower because it has only 35 watts of power supply. That's ridiculous. Why would I do that? <laughs> they shot themselves in the foot. Welcome back. Okay, 1050 Ti. I'm guessing this one will be high settings card. Or me medium to high, probably. But we can lower the resolution and use TAAU. So shouldn't be difficult. And it comes only with P-series processors rather than H-series. Yeah, but still, how? why would they limit it to 35 watts? That's That's ridiculous. I don't get it. Also, it's confusing for the consumer because if you see 1650 and then you see 2050, you say, okay, the 2050 is faster. It's an RTX card. Yeah, the 2050 is a joke, especially if it's less powerful than a 1650. <laughs> it should at least be a 1650 with RTX features. I mean, come on. DLSS for everyone. Okay, we put everything on high. If this is not enough, we're dropping the resolution a bit. Because we got TAAU. Okay, let's see. Here we go. It's given only with a thin and light laptop. Okay, makes sense. But why wouldn't they put a 1650 instead in there with lower TDP? I don't understand. They could have made two versions. Okay, it's dropping below 60 already in this place. Let's lower the resolution scale to 90% and use a temporal AA upscaler. Okay, that's better. Plus 90% resolution TAAU. Okay, so we get a 10% less pixels, but with the upscaling technique, that looks pretty good. Let's see what happens. Okay, looks decent. I'll increase the sharpness a bit, though. It's a little bit soft. Uh, you can do 500% sharpness. <laughs> okay, let's keep it at 65. Um... Like Acer Aspire series, it's in between thin and light gaming laptop in between. Okay, I see. Still, weird decision in my opinion. Attention all units, we have confirmation at subject 106 is in the loading bay. Yes, I am. One, you need to move in now. You need to move in now. Happily. Come and join me, please. I need shotgun shells. Oh, you can shoot the grenade in the air. Cool. 
<laughs> That's new. Maximum sharpness. No. Nope. <laughs> Zero one is down. Zero one had no chance. Hi there. Oh no, no shotgun ammo. I'm screwed. Bye bye. I guess I'll get the pistol. You miss the above chat? Oh, my bad. 2050 Bryce, then niceties of RTX GPUs? Yeah, still. Yeah, sorry, I cannot read everything. Sometimes I'll miss chats. Also, is the audio of the game too loud? Because it's destroying my eardrums. Oh, there was a fire extinguisher. Okay, Sierra 2 is down, Sierra 3 coming in. Okay, thanks for that grenade. I appreciate that. These two atoms. This is giving me strong fear one vibes. Yeah, it's a spiritual successor to fear one. Hang on, guys, I have to respond the message. All right, sorry about that. I was going to play Warzone with some friends, but I got a little bit too entertained. <laughs> Get in there now. Okay, who's next? The audio is okay. Thanks for that. Do we have any men left? <laughs> Oh, boss fight. And there's an object. Okay. High value target. Site 14, Chief of Security. I'll happily take on him. Oh, he's very strong though. Yeah, the gore, the physics! Ugh. Okay, he cannot be tackled. Gotcha. Good thing I have a shotgun. Oh, there's a guy over there. Okay, he's down. Chief of security is no more. Uh, I currently own a 1650 laptop which I bought in 2022. It's starting to slow for its age. Should upgrade now only after one year. I mean, it was it was pretty limited already by the time that you got it. So it depends on what you're upgrading to.
Come back here. Reduce two atoms. Where to now? Watch for friendly fire. Make sure you extract safely. Okay, these are friendlies. Right? Get inside the chopper 106. We're gonna get you out of here. <laughs> I can still shoot them. Son of a bitch! We got a body here! We lost the man! <laughs> I literally got him myself. Okay, this part runs worse. Let me let me see if I can fix that. I thought I couldn't shoot him. Let's lower the shadows effects and post processing to medium. It's a little bit much. Okay, that fixed it. Mid high. Okay. Post processing medium as well. Okay, so basically medium to high, like this. I want to upgrade to a 3050 laptop, it's such a good choice. Uh, 3050 versus 4050, I do not know the difference, honestly. Haven't seen them in real life. This is Alpha 3. Moving into the compound. Moving into the compound. Why? I killed everyone already. They're all gone. <laughs> Why? You should have a conversation with your audience, I'm doing it, but I have to play the game as well. So if you expect me to keep up with everything that it said, I'm sorry, but that's impossible. But I try my best. That's what matters. This is Raven. We're approaching. This is Raven. But there's a reason why the 1650 is the most popular GPU on Steam. I think the most popular now, now is the 3060, if I remember correctly. Is this multiplayer or single player or both? It's single player, as far as I know. Come on, let me in! Oh, I'm an idiot. Of course. <laughs> The guy shooting at the wall. The super special agent doesn't know how to move. Let's get you properly suited up. Okay. Ah, uh, whatever. A little long in the tooth? What do you mean? When you're ready, head to the briefing room and we can get started. Let's go. Can I go to Uruguay? No, I can go to the Pandora Institute. Okay, let's go. Looks nice. 106, this is Raven. I'll be your pilot from now on. See you at the helipad. I had to go to the helipad. Uh, annoying. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that would be very smooth because I don't have an audience. <laughs> Good response, man. <laughs> oh, it's showing its age. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll go for a 30 series if possible. Yeah, same. Yeah, I, I say the, the best one to get now is a 3060. You have 2 gigs of VRAM, performance is good. Especially because of the VRAM. Your objective is to rescue Dr. Emerson. Our intel says he's it's a 40 watt 3050 faster than a 50 watt 1650. Oh, I don't know, I haven't. I don't know the, the laptop GPU's performance. I'm usually not informed. Have you got any bodies clipping through walls? It's very funny. Not yet. 
Can I jump out? Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're actually in the action. You don't get as many drops as in the hub area. The jackal. Okay, it still drops into the 50s here, but it's still playable. How lucky to 60 though. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> a billboard. My bad. Have you? Oh, I already read that. Here we go. Oh, nobody. I'm disappointed. Somebody's shooting at the walls. Yeah, the thing with the 3060 Ti is that it's only... Oh, the AI yeah, got The 3060 Ti is only 8 gigabytes. The 3060 non-Ti has 12. It's slower, but it has 12 gigs. Which I think is a big plus. Okay, let's swap GPUs now. And uh, talking about saves, doesn't it only seems to be quick saves, quick saves, auto saves. Yeah, definitely. I don't see any manual saves. Uh, Joe wrote videos, like them, but he doesn't test any games in real life, only shows the stats and that's it. What do you mean? Only shows the stats. Oh, he only shows charts. Alright, yeah, that's why I went for an anti version and cheaper, I agree. Yeah, it's cheaper and you have more VRAM, less performance, but it's not like a huge loss. Oh, I see, he shows charts, but not gameplay footage. I mean, that's fine, you can still get an idea on how the performance is. That's not a bad thing. But I agree that it's way better to show gameplay with a uh, side-by-side -side cut, like testing games, <laughs> or El Analista de Bits. Which one do you like more, FSR 2 or DLSS? Depends on the game. In general, the DLSS implementation is better, but it depends. It depends on the game, really. I use the one that looks the best. In general, DLSS is the one that looks the best. Okay, 1080p Ultra. I'm not even going to <laughs> try anything else there. The LSS is almost black magic, I agree. Okay, you need to be unplugged from the power socket to change GPU. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a separate computer, that's why. One computer is doing the live stream, the other computer is basically a GPU machine. That's why. But I understand that you probably already know that. <laughs> You're just messing with me. You know, this game was a PC exclusive. Is it a PC exclusive? I mean, it's clearly an indie game, but I'm trying to say that in the. 
in the nicest way possible. Roll AA, we don't need that. Okay. Everything on the highest. I'm not going to use the instant settings yet. We'll see. A little bit more motion blur in this case. In this game it looks pretty good, actually. Not overdone. Okay. And then we're going to try um, DLSS for some reason. Oh, I forgot the FPS counter. My bad. Oh, the game will come next year to consoles. That's wonderful. Looks pretty good for an indie. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the person behind this spent a lot of time working on it. Jesus, that scared me. <laughs> did you test Hogwarts Legacy? Yeah, I did. Stutterfest. I tested it on day one, actually. Okay, as you can see, already it's over 100 FPS most of the time. Looking close to effects, it drops into the 70s, but still. I'm not sure if a single person, but I remember that there was one guy on Twitter showing the mechanics that were like fear. And it ended up being this game. Sliding into enemies, maybe that's why I get bodies clipping through walls, probably. I mean, it's a lot of fun. I can even break windows with that. What's in here? Bridge charges. Rainbow Six Siege. Cool. A toast to our beloved volunteers. Horizon and the rest of the world will remember your sacrifice. Okay. Sir. Welcome. Excuse me, sir. Sir, you have something on your face. Now it's gone. I love how they panic. It's like they know John Wick is in the building. Don't panic as well. <laughs> yeah, it stutters way more than The Last of Us. Towards Legacy, yeah. It's horrendous in that regard. But it's a good game. That's what bothers me the most. I played a lot of Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, on the consoles it runs way better. On the stutter department. No, cool. I want to remove the sight, the sight, the, the light. Much better. Max Payne. Okay, before doing that, let's very quickly enable DLSS. Let's see if we can get 100 FPS. Uh, DLSS on quality. Potato, mashed potatoes. There's still many diseases yet to be defeated. Only you. When Final Fantasy 16 comes to PC, it would be nice to see it on the 1050 Ti. Yeah, that would explode the card for sure. I agree. Actually, with the LSS, it looks pretty good. I really forgot I was using the LSS. Looks very clean. Jesus. 
Jesus. Sick moves. Thank you. Oh, these are friendlies. Okay. I'm used to not have friendlies. Restricted area. Takes forever to explode. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, no ammo on this one. I'm here, sir. Thank you very much. Why is it lost? Some games feel so smooth at 25, 30, like Plague Tale Requiem, but I don't like Spider Man feel better like at 30. Well, I don't agree. Spider Man feels good at 30, at least on PS4. I mean, if you start a game at 30 and you don't switch right away to a higher frame rate, you can get used to it. It all depends on how they handle the latency. The latency. Some games don't feel responsive even at 60 frames sometimes. Well, I remember Shadow of the Tomb Raider on Xbox One had terrible latency. I, w I wonder if these people are real. Oh, I got shotgun ammo. They should be worried. Oh, that's a grenade. Watch my back. I'm loaded. I got your back. Oh, terrible idea. Contact. I don't have melee. Uh, I already responded to that target locked. Depends on the game. In general, the LSS looks better. So I'm usually playing with the LSS. Oh, turn off. Yes, please. Okay, 1080p is fine. Let's do 1440p. At 1440p, I will probably use high instead of epic and i'll keep the lss on it looks good in this game i mean i forgot it was enabled honestly which is a big a big prop from me there we go um yeah, this is better for sure, but more restrictive. Exactly. You need an RTX card. That's the big problem. If it was open for everyone, it would be nice. But apparently, that's not going to happen. Let's see. Hey, guys. Play dirty, yeah. Well, Nvidia always plays dirty. There are companies that want your money. I mean, don't you guys remember GameWorks, Physics, RTX? The Titan cards. Oh, what the? And it, it exploded. That was perfect timing. Oh, I don't have slow motion. I ran out of slow motion. Oh no, I'm going to die. Someday. Not today. Just 
Yeah, just two items. <laughs> yeah, you bought at 4070. Well, yeah, terrible value for the money, but I'm a sucker that bought at 4070 Ti. I mean, in my case, it was more justified, but still, I I feel like they don't deserve my money. But what can I do? Yeah, meme technologies, physics, and game works. Remember in Killing Flow 2, it still runs bad with uh, game works. Okay, 1440p is also fine. Let's do 4K. 4K. Mm, but you don't need DLSS 3 or frame generation to have a good smooth experience on your 4070. You can just play at native 1440p and even 4K. I disagree. If you want to play at a higher frame rate, it's basically free performance. I have a 144 hertz monitor and trust me, frame generation is legit. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I don't know how they did it, but I do not notice that the frames are generated like that. Do you own a Steam Deck? Yes, I have videos on the Steam Deck. I'm going to do everything that I did today, but on the Steam Deck later on. Oh, Jesus. I'm guessing it's this way. Yeah, I was playing Spider-Man over 100 FPS as well, and it blew my mind, yeah. With my with the CPU limitation that that game has, it was impossible to get 100 FPS. With frame generation, it was like nothing. Okay. Two shots. I'll grab you. Um, explode with your friend. There we go. Reduce to potatoes. Yeah, I although I wish the LSS3 was available at least on the 30 series cards. I don't trust when Nvidia says, oh no, it doesn't work on a 20 series or 30 series. I mean, it probably won't be as nice. But it probably works. Your eyes can tell the difference between 30 and 60, but you can't between 60 and 120. Okay. Trust me that I can, believe it or not. But whatever. It's not like that though. The in between frames are so quick that you don't really notice. You just feel that it's smoother. Ever tried it in real life? 30 to 60 is bad with frame generation, but 60 to 120, that's a sweet spot for frame generation. You tried it multiple times, I don't believe you. But 30 to 60, with I mean, if you're playing at 30 and enable frame generation, it looks bad. But if you're playing at 60 or 80 and enable frame generation, that's when it works the best. The game supports ray tracing? Unfortunately, no. But it has an insane preset that I think is kind of a waste. It's like grabbing everything in Unreal Engine 4 and cranking it up. But if they add the ray tracing, um, I'll test it again, for sure. I enjoy this game a lot, actually. <laughs> As you can see, I cannot stop playing it. Grenade out! 
Drop an enemy? Yes, please. Dead. Reduce two atoms. Oh, bad shot. Oh god. After playing 120, playing 60 doesn't feel as smooth as before. Yep, I agree. Reloading. Yeah, now 60 feels weird. But after a few, I get used to it again. If you have a high refresh rate monitor, trust me, you're going to notice the difference right away. Okay. Supply drop incoming. I don't know if I trust you, man. You seem very sus. Those are friendless. All teams, this is Ghost One Actual. We secured the entrance to the Pandora Institute. Yeah, yeah. You can look in the web. That means trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. I've been there before. Okay, another another high value target. I didn't know that. They got nerfed your eyes. Yeah, I agree. It's very obvious. But I get that many people don't don't see it. I mean, it's hard. My friends don't see it, and they play games as well. But I'm, I have so much, so much exposure to it that I guess my eyes are super sensitive now. <laughs> but that doesn't stop me from enjoying the game. I just play at 60 for a bit if I cannot play at 120, and my eyes get used to it after a bit. It takes a few minutes. Because when you swap between one of those quickly, it's very jarring. Right now I'm playing at 60 because this monitor is 60 hertz. But if I play this on my main computer and I see it at 120 and then I see it at 60, it will look terrible. That's why I don't use the 120 hertz monitor for the live stream. It'll break my eyes. Um, countless studies have shown what what countless studies have shown? <laughs> Show me the countless studies. Please send the links. I'll read the studies and let you know. I mean, if you tell me countless studies have shown, okay, send them over. Trust me, I'll read them. I'll get that it's like now. saying, oh yeah, the University of Minnesota said so. That says nothing. There. Send the papers. According to the schematics, this elevator is gonna take you straight to you the can test it yourself. <laughs> See? You're not proving your point. Why should I listen to you? You can test it yourself. I mean, I did. I told you. I already did it. The one that is saying that it's not like that is you. Yeah, the Steam Deck 40 Hz is great. It's a nice in between, especially due to the smaller screen. Anyway, I think I saw enough. I gotta go play Warzone with my friends, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, blowing stuff to pieces in slow motion. I'm going to keep playing this game until the end, this is amazing. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Love you all. Yeah, yeah, whatever, target locked. Send me the studies on paper, I'll read them. But if you don't have them, just don't say test it yourself. See you next time. I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Bye. <laughs>